and an English scone with butter and jam, but you put the jam on top of the cream. Whose idea was that? <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> My name's Steve Coogan, and this is Snack Wars for Lad Bible. And the food under this, uh, this, what do you call these? A cloche. A what? A cloche. A cloche? I never knew that. I'm 54. The food beneath this cloche is uh, Greek and British because I've been filming Greece from a fil film called Greed. And greedy people aren't people who just eat lots of food. Greedy people are people like <laughs> in my opinion, <laughs> who is worth 2.6 billion pounds and employs people on $4 a day in sweatshops in uh, places like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. And uh, what they do is they say they, they, they employ these people for no money, and that's why they're so wealthy. And really, you should associate the cheap clothes you're paying, paying for for people who have no running water who have paid less than $4 a day. That's greed. Now, another kind of greed is <laughs> this. Uh, this is uh, tarama salata, if I'm not mistaken, and a bit of pita bread. Um, it's technically Greek, I suppose. And an English scone with butter and jam, but you put the jam on top of the cream. Whose idea was that? Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Who does that? Well. Oh. <laughs> mm. With that one, it's come over all St. George's flag about it. The scone's obviously miles better. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so this is uh, sesame seeds on them, and uh, it's a Greek, and there's a giant bourbon. It's Greek cookies, I, I don't know what they are. We've got, um, no one might know if it's big. It's like more of mediocrity. Ah. Uh, mm. mm, it's got a bit of cinnamon in there, I think. Mm, interesting. And, um, oh, God. Obviously, uh, it's actually quite nice. Um, well, they're both horrible, but, you know, the bourbon is slightly less horrible. Spam and... What? I'm not, I'm not eating that. I'm not eating either of these. I'll look at them. Very funny, though, tins of unappetising seafood and, uh, it, I mean... You probably could be a vegetarian and eat Spam, there's that lot of meat in it. So yes, yeah, so the winner uh, in, in this particular test was the, 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 the my choice was the British choice. So yes, yeah, so uh, these high street fashion brands, what they do is they distract you by using celebrities. Uh, Philip Green used to throw those parties. I would say to any of my celebrity friends out there, be very careful who you take your money from. And uh, if that annoys you, I don't care. You should be annoyed. You should think carefully about who you work for, right. Iron Brew and uh, Luke's. It looks lovely. <laughs> That's a great strap line, isn't it? Yeah. Neither are going to win prizes for uh, organic sustainability. Yeah, I, I, I probably have Iron Brew because apparently it's made from girders. I wasn't doing that out of any kind of weird nationalistic fervour, despite the march of right-wing populism across Europe. I'm not part of it. So this is Steve Coogan uh, doing uh, Snack Wars for uh, the Lad Bible. Okay, now you have to keep all that stuff in I said about, uh, if, you, if you cut all that and just have the food shit in, I'll go fucking, I'll kill someone, right? I'm not kidding.